everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nyan. Before I get into this review, I want to mention all of the trigger warnings within this book. There are trigger warnings for rape and sexual assault, misogyny, violence, gore, pedophilia, and death of a loved one. So if you are triggered by any of those, then please do take care when reading this book. So Girls of Paper and Fire is an Asian-inspired fantasy where every year girls from paper castes, meaning that they're only human, they are not demons, are taken from their homes and gifted to the demon king as concubines. They are called paper girls and this is what happens to our main character. So this story follows their revolt and how our main character goes through her life as a paper girl. I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars so just be aware that this is going to be a very positive review of this book. I will also let you know that there are going to be spoilers once I discuss the plot of this book, so be aware of that. So as for plot, I thought that the plot was very well written. I thought that it was very seamless. There were a few moments when it was a little bit slower. At the beginning, most notably, was when I found myself dragging the pages a little bit, but it did pick up as the book progressed. Another thing that I want to mention about the plot is that the ending, I felt, could have used a little bit more explanation. I felt that it kind of ended a little bit more abruptly, and I feel if we had 30 to 40 more pages, it would have been explained a little bit better and it wouldn't have ended so abruptly. The next section that I kind of want to talk about, and it will contain spoilers for the main romance in this book, are the characters. So the first character that I would like to mention, and I'm going to mention specifically two characters, is Lei, who is our main character. So Lei comes from one of the rural towns in Ikara, and she is just absolutely amazing. I loved her character. I find myself drawn to the character that aren't pegged as fighters. They are more emotionally vulnerable and I find that when characters are more emotionally vulnerable like Lei, they are more susceptible to very progressive character development and that's part of the reason why I loved Lei's character so much was that she had so much character development within this novel. You could really see her strengths start to come out and you really see that she is kind of a fighter just in her own specific way. She's not very good at fighting with her fists but I feel like she is a smart individual and I feel as she gets more confident within herself, you really start to see those character traits come out a lot more within the novel. So I really loved her character arcs and she is just a baby that needs to be protected 24 seven and I just adore her. The next character that I kind of want to notably mention is Ren. So Ren is kind of like my dream girl, um, I'm not gonna lie. She's strong, she's resilient and she isn't just rendered into the love interest. I feel like she stands on her own as a good character. She doesn't need Lei as kind of like her crutch. She can stand on her own. And I find that she also gets a lot of character development within this novel. I feel like we can see her warming up and opening up to all of her issues with Lei and I just thought they were just so cute together but I will talk about the romance later but yeah I find that she acts as kind of like a foil to Lei because she is all of those things that Lei isn't. She is a fighter in the sense of fists and stuff like that. I feel like she has a lot of bravery in different areas than Lei and it's kind of cool to see those traits play off of each other with them both. It makes for a really interesting romance actually. So the next thing that I kind of want to talk about is the writing of this book. Now I find that Natasha Nyan's writing is fantastic. It's very descriptive. It flows very well. I feel like the scenes are woven together very seamlessly and I just found that she had such a way with writing scenes. Whenever I was reading, I could feel myself being transported into that world. I could hear every screen door close. I could like see every lush palace garden. I could smell all of the flowers and the plants and I can hear all of the laughter of the paper girls behind their doors. I also found that the dialogue scenes within this book were very emotionally charged and I also just found that Nyan's writing is very sensuous. I feel that's part of the reason why it 
flows so well. The next thing that I kind of want to talk about within this book is the world building. I thought that the world building within this book was really great. I thought that things were explained very well. I found the concept of the demon case very interesting, but I feel like I would have liked it a little bit more if they would have stepped outside the palace a little bit more. I know that that's kind of intentional. I think that's just a personal preference. I don't like being stuck in one specific spot the entire time, but it's not something that took away the enjoyment of the book. It's just, as I said, a personal preference. Another thing that I really appreciated about the world building was the weaving together of political intrigue. That's something that I also really enjoy in my fantasies, and I thought that it was done really well in this novel. The last sort of thing that I want to talk about is the romance. The romance means like so much to me. It's so great to have such a emotionally charged sapphic fantasy novel. I love that we're getting these kind of romances popping up within literature now because when I was in high school you never really found any of these things. Like I was in high school like maybe nine years ago and I could never read any of these things. I feel like if it was like 2010 right now this would be in the erotica section. It's great that you see these kind of stories surface because I do believe that they are very important and personally for me as a bisexual woman I feel that they are very important and it was really nice reading it. I also just found that it was really nice that Leigh and Ren found themselves within the darkest moments of their lives and they made something beautiful out of it. It's just like, it warms my heart so much that they were able to stay together throughout this entire novel because I was really scared that they wouldn't. And I'm just so tired of stories where there are queer relationships and they get broken apart by other things. So yeah, it was really nice seeing them stay together. I also really liked that their romance wasn't overly sexualized and it was really cool to see that in a book that centers around sexualized contents. Their love was really innocent and it just it was just beautiful and I loved it and I am so thankful for this book. This book means the absolute world to me. I will never stop recommending this book to people who are looking for queer fantasies because I do believe that this book was very well written. The last thing that I want to kind of notably mention is my favorite quote and I like doing this in my reviews because I feel like it leaves the reviews off on a really nice note. So my favorite quote from this novel is Instead of disappearing, she makes me feel reappeared, reimagined. Her touch shapes me, draws out the boldness that has been hiding in my core. I think that this really illustrates what I was saying earlier about the two of them, them being Lei and Ren, being each other's foil and I find that it's really interesting because they draw strength from each other. They draw strength where the other person lacks and on that note there you have it. That is my review for Girls of Paper and Fire. Like I said I gave this book a five out of five stars. It means so much to me. I absolutely adored it and I really hope that some people pick this book up despite some of the things that have been said about the specific subject matter because I feel like this book deserves a chance and I feel like this book is just so important. I just love it so if you're ever looking for a book being recommended to you by me, this one. Read it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you liked it. If you did then please give it a thumbs up and mention down in the comment what your favorite part about it was. If you have read this book then please give me your thoughts about it whether it be negative or positive. As always all of my social media links will be down in the description box below if you want to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or my blog. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you again in the next one. Bye!